This is extremely close competition. The skill level here is absolutely amazing. The ultimate prize of $500. Good, sharp, uh, firm knives. That's a tough one. Is it tough? Let's go. And here we go, the final round of Blade Masters. We have all our chefs ready. First chef, Chef Ginny G. She won her two rounds and now she's here. And then we have Chef David, a champion of the last round. And then we have Chef Harrison. Are you guys ready? Because they are. Let's go. Welcome back to Blade Masters. This is the final round. We got Chef Ginny, Chef David, and Chef Harrison, and we're ready to go. We're ready to reveal the secret ingredient and the ultimate prize of $500, a knife bag, and a new, brand new chef knife, which we'll reveal here. The final round, and the rules are a bit different with the knives. Before we had knife bags in front of each chef, now we have a knife bag right here with all of our knives laid on top. The Dow Strong products, the elite, the best of the best. So you get to choose your knives when you see the secret ingredient. Are you guys ready? Uh, let's do this. The secret ingredient is the leg of lamb. Are you guys ready for that? Yeah. Now you can choose your knives. Okay, I think I'm gonna need a firm boning knife as well as maybe the help of this beauty right here. You know, if I need any help through any larger pieces or tenons. So I'm gonna take these. Uh, so I'll take a boning knife. It's uh, nice and thin, gets into some small crevices and cracks. And this uh, chef knife, just because it's got a little bit more uh, heftiness to get through anything thick. Yeah, let's see what's uh, actually under here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that'll do the trick. Uh, again, smaller blade, better tip control. That's uh, all I'm gonna take. Okay guys, let's talk about the protein. So we have a leg of lamb. Um, it's pretty straightforward here, guys. Uh, you can get a nice shank out of it, a nice cut here. And then uh, the rest is roast, but I just need to debone. There's a nice bone in the middle there. And here we go, guys. The final round is here in three, two, one. Let's go. All right, chef. How do you feel about this? Comfortable, not comfortable? Uh, a little bit uncomfortable, to be honest. I've never actually broken down a leg of lamb. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So, first for everything. You got skill, so you can do it. That's the easiest part right there. It is an animal. It is an animal. Okay, lamb. Uh, let's talk about the actual protein here. Uh, what would you do with this? Uh, to be honest, I would have left it the way it was. I would have put a nice, you know, uh, like classic, like Greek style marinade on it. Tons of parsley. Right? Sounds good to me. Yeah. It sounds delicious too. So how do you like this knife? Uh, so far, so good. Okay, cool. I'll be back. All right, Jenny, your first initial thoughts on the protein. Love leg of lamb. I will cut you a shank out of this beauty, but I would also like to clean it up, take it off the bone, lay it out, take all the silver skin and tenons out, and uh, it'd be lovely to stuff with some wild rice and nuts and cranberries, some herbs, oil it up, nice roast. Slow oven. Slow oven roast. And there's a nice butt roast right in there too. Okay, so Chef David. Hello. How do you feel about this protein? Uh, pretty good. It's been a long time that I haven't done a, a, a lamb. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's good. Okay. Um, what's your approach here? Uh, so I've taken the shank off. Uh, it's good for braising. Uh, and then the, the actual uh, leg itself, it's, it's pretty versatile. It's not as tender as some cuts, but it's pretty versatile. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think I'd, I'd bone it. Uh, roll it with uh, probably rosemary is pretty classic. Yes. And anchovy is, is classic, but maybe less known. Yeah. Um, and so it gives a nice saltiness to the to the lamb. And uh, yeah, if you're doing a big roast, feeding a lot of people. Beautiful. It's a nice way. Ginny, why did you choose that knife? I like a firm boning knife for a large piece of meat like this. Mm -hmm. I, do, I do like the size of that knife and, and the width. I like the stability of that. Um, so yeah. Yeah, bony knife's a great choice for a lot of uh, breaking down um, smaller meats and bigger meats too. You'll find like a lot of uh, big time butchers bone debone a whole cow with a bony knife. It's pretty, yeah, pretty talented. So it's really a versatile knife for sure. Some progress here, so it's interesting. It, it um, you've got a lot of progress going on, and uh, there's nothing on your on your board yet, but you still have so much going on there, which is great. Um, I kind of use the approach of of a butcher. And yes. If you've ever seen a butcher, they use their hands a lot. They use their hands. Uh, animals are all built up of muscle groups, which separates tendons. You can literally pull uh, 
it's a lot easier with big, bigger pieces and using gravity, but you can literally pull an entire, almost an entire animal apart just by, just with your hands. Yeah, if you know the anatomy properly. You guys, uh, all you guys got great progress going on. Everything's looking really good. I can tell you right now, this is gonna be a very difficult one to judge. Um, so please make it easy for me, somebody. <laughs> the ultimate prize of $500. What are you gonna do if you win? Uh, Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, yeah. Super it's easy. Holiday. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hey, $500 gets you a long way to Mexico. Jenny, what about you? $500. What would you do when you win $500? I'd love to go to a spa or go take my son snowboarding for a weekend. Mm, snowboarding for a weekend. Spa's a good day, too. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Chef Harrison, what would you do for $500? Um, it is my son's first first birthday coming up, so oh, wow. I'll probably buy him some, something dope that he'll never appreciate or understand. <laughs> Does that mean that you'll buy something that you like? <laughs> yeah, something that's, fun. that's something that's fun for us, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. There's going to be one person I know that's going to stand out. If you guys seen the competitions or been involved in the competitions, which you guys have, you know that I look for the smallest of details and little things that uh, will stick out, especially as a chef, if you're gonna serve this in your restaurant. So keep that in mind as you guys continue. I love this running gun style. Um, interesting, no one's used this, which I, uh, I think could be a good idea. But look at that, look at that, guys. This knife right here is absolutely amazing. Good for a uh, shopping action here, but it's available. It's available if you need it. Okay, Jenny, looks like you're making some progress over here. Yep. Have fun. Be creative. Chef David. Yeah. Uh, wildest place you've worked at? Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. Yeah, I, I worked in London for a long time, and uh, and you learn a lot in every place that you work. And so um, I can't really pick one, but uh, yeah, I would say London as a, as a city as a whole. Very cool. Ginny. Yeah. Wildest place that you've worked at. That's a tough one. Is it tough? A little bit. Um, I love cooking in nature. So like a lot of time spent up in Muskoka mm -hmm. and uh, building fires in the open and smoking, uh, smoking fish. Smoking fish up in Muskoka was a great experience. Cold smoking? But yeah, cold smoking. Um, Traveling around France and London uh, as a young chef was a great experience. I love these stories. Look, these stories are great. Wildest place you've worked at? There'd be two, and one of them is in England as well. I worked at this small um, two-star restaurant in the countryside. Then the next craziest place would be where I cut my teeth is here at George. Oh, uh, yeah, Queen Street. Overall, in this competition, how do you feel about the Dow Strong product? Uh, yeah, they're good, sharp. Uh, firm knives, uh, at least firm when you need them to be firm. I haven't used the uh, the flexible one yet. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, they're good knives. Okay, good, good. How about you, Jenny? Overall, during this whole competition, how do you feel about the Dow Strong product? I've used so many knives. Dow Strong actually really stands out for me. Um, the steel's really firm. I imagine over over time, they would keep their edge well. Uh, the styling's gorgeous, and. Um, yeah, like, I mean, the, the detail in the, in the design and in these handles are beautiful. How about you, Chef Harrison? I think I said this in the, <clears throat> in the first round. Like, I've typically uh, used Japanese-style knives. So for Western-style knives, I mean, they have a bit of a Japanese flair. Like, they're, they're really nice. I, and I guess I did get lucky um, By going pick, last. picking last. Yeah, like, I don't know if it's five and a half. I don't know millimeters. Um, but f probably five and a half, six inch blade, like a utility knife is like actually what I prefer to, uh, to, to butcher with. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. To me, it's like, like a fashion line. I mean, the knives work really well, but you can actually get a knife that fits your cooking style as far as just the look of it, right? Like you have the white handles, the Valhalla, like everything's a bit different and um, it adds a little uh, extra to your cooking style. Everyone's done. The product looks absolutely amazing. I can tell you right now, it's gonna be difficult like the last round. I'm gonna judge this and we'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. We got Chef David. Um, I gotta tell you, I looked at this. These are extremely clean, um, very, very clean. Uh, this, this right here is uh, a very uh, forgotten bone. Um, you did a really good job of cleaning that as well. I like this a lot. Down here, it's a good roast so you can just 
pull it down. So that's very good technique. I can tell that you have some good old school classic French technique here. I like a lot. Okay, Chef Jenny, you did a great job here. Um, you know, uh, there's a little meat on here. I mean, other than that, it's a really good job. Everything's good here. And yeah, that's Jenny. I'm gonna go check out Chef Harrison's. Okay, we're at Chef Harrison, um, and this looks good as well. And then you have the, you know, you know your shank here, which is great. You uh, have a simpler approach to the Frenching, um, which I like. It's a very good job. Like I said, guys, this is very difficult, very, very difficult. Um, as you can see, having you guys in the finals was the right choice. Now we have to, uh, <laughs> I have to give you a score. This is the hard part. I hate doing this, but let's go. Okay, guys, this is an extremely close competition. The skill level here is absolutely amazing. Uh, so happy to have all you guys involved in this competition. Your number would have been a, a 9.7. Really like it. You would have been a 9.5 and you would have been a 9.4. That's how close it was. And there you have it, Blade Masters finale. It was great. These chefs did a great job. And the winner of $500, a new chef knife, and a bag is Chef David. You're going to Mexico, baby. Yeah. <laughs> here you go, Chef. Your uh, knife bag. Thank you. And then here you got the Shogun series, the Japanese. Uh, this is a beautiful knife. Thank you so much. Uh, enjoy it. Thank you. Cut some more lamb. Yeah.